How are we all doing guys? So today's video is going to be a gaming memories but before I get into that just in case you notice I'm moving a little bit stiffer than I normally would do um yeah my my wife was kind enough to buy me a EZ bar for my gym I've got at the bottom of the garden I think I've mentioned I've, I've showed videos on the channel where you've seen it um and if anyone who don't know an EZ bar is basically you use it for mainly for biceps and triceps it's a bar that's got like a sort of bend in it it's so that it doesn't put too much pressure on your wrists when you're doing bicep curls and um yeah i got a little bit overzealous with it <laughs> let's just put it that way um yeah she, my wife was kind enough to buy it for me it come through i was itching to use it um and yeah i got a little bit um too excited with that i think and as a result if you look here i now can't straighten my arms that's about as straight as I can get them at the moment. They've been like that now for two days. So, yeah, it's a bit of an issue. So, if you notice if I go to reach for something and I look like I'm moving like this, that's why, because I can't straighten my arms properly. So, so anyway, let's get that one out of the way. Full disclosure on this channel. So, we get that out of the way now. Right, okay. So, back to the uh, task at hand, what the video is supposed to be about. Uh, yeah, gaming memories. So, this one, I'm going to talk about Turtles on the C64. I'm also going to mention a bit about it being on the NES as well. So, the um, reason why I'm mentioning this is because when you look through your memories of gaming, a good majority of them are good memories. However, there are the odd disappointment, and this would be one of them for me. So, as you know, and I've already said on the channel before, especially when it comes to arcade games one of my favorites is turtles the arcade game and um yeah <laughs> you can see where this is going can't you so when they announced that turtles was coming out a lot of us me and a friend of mine especially we we thought straight away turtles the arcade great yeah turtles the arcade let's get it so picked i picked it out for the c64 which was uh, a tape and uh, my friend picked it up for the NES. And it kind of all goes downhill from there, don't it? Because <laughs> then you played it. Oh my God, what a terrible game. <laughs> um, to be fair, I mean, I think it's got a bit of a cult following as it's gone on now, isn't it? I mean, I do actually play it. I, I emulate it because I don't have the C64. Not anymore. But um, I do actually play it. Uh, I'll be honest, it hasn't really got any better. <laughs> Some things do well over time, don't they? That's not one of them. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, it wasn't great, was it? <laughs> it was even worse if you had a C64, because you had to wait for the damn thing to load up. And then when it did, you was like, that's what I've been waiting for? <laughs> you know? Yeah, it wasn't great. And and funny enough, actually, um, Retro Bear has uh, recently played it on his Commodore Corner, I believe. And I think he was of the same sort of opinion as what I'm giving here. I don't think he thought it was that great either. Um, for anybody who hasn't played it, it's not not like the arcade version at all. Um, virtually every level looks the same, let's be honest. You, you know, you go down in the sewers. And the way it works is you've got four turtles, each with a life. Once you've lost all your turtles, that's it, you're done. And, um, yeah, you go into a level, you finish that level, you come out the other side of the sewer... And then you go along and then you go into another one. Or you can go in some buildings as well. Um, yeah, the issues with this game... Um, well, there's a lot of issues with this game, let's be honest. Um, for example, the the graphics sprites, not great. You know, it it doesn't look very good. But then, you know, you, you are talking about 8-bit systems. You couldn't expect too much, I suppose. Although I'd seen games that look much better, I've got to be honest. Um, then you've got like the movements of the turtles. Um, you know, when Donatello's doing his stick, rather than like how you'd expect someone to swing a staff, it's kind of like up in the air like this. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's just not natural movements. But again, like I say, we're talking about 8-bit systems. You can't expect too much. But um, the problem with the game is it's not very well balanced. Um it's not particularly easy from the start. In fact, uh, if you're walking around the map and you 
come into in contact with what looks like a, a plough or a digger of some sort, it will run you over and kill you within seconds of starting the game. So there's that. Um, but yeah, there's also a problem when I say balancing. For example, your, your best turtles to use are Leonardo and Donatello because, to be quite honest, yeah, Raphael and Michelangelo don't have as much reach as them two characters. So it's... Um, it's a bit naff when you play as them. It's harder to play. Uh, then, then you got the fact that it, it's kind of the, the game repeats a lot. You know, it's you know Dan in his room, and you've got the same sort of characters you're fighting. It just seems that there's more and more as you get further into it. Yeah, not a great game. And uh, in terms of memory, it's probably one of my most disappointing ones when it comes, especially when it comes to C64. It, it wasn't a great game. And like I said, a friend of mine picked it up for the NES. Now, it did play better on the NES, I've got to be honest. Um, but he was just as disappointed with it as I was. Although, because he didn't have many games, he did play it a lot. And eventually, he did learn to enjoy it. That's the problem. See, back then, you know, we was, you know, a lot of us kids were all in a situation where you didn't have a lot of money. So if you bought a game and it was disappointing, you kind of had to play it because that's all you had. So, so yeah, a friend of mine on the NES, he got quite a way into it. In fact, I think he did complete it in the end, which is quite an achievement in itself. But, yeah, I wasn't a fan. And like I say, although I do go back to it now and again and I, I have a look at it and have a quick go, I'm still not really a fan now. Like I say, it got a lot of hate when it came out. It really did because the problem was, was they wasn't very clear on what this game was going to be. So everyone assumed it would be Turtles Arcade. And of course, everyone loved that game. And then they got this. So it got a lot of hate. Now, in recent years, it has got a bit of a cult following. And people seem to appreciate it more than they did then. But when I first got it, everybody hated this game. You know, and, and the, even the critics, the people reviewing it, they did not give it good reviews. Um, yeah, it was a little bit of a, a letdown. So yeah, um, if any of you guys out there have got YouTube channels um, and you have played this or owned it or whatever, let me know what your experience was with this game because I, I was not a fan. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I think at the time I was very tempted to set it on fire, <laughs> to be quite honest, because I think that's what it deserved. But like I say, you know, we didn't have a lot of games back then, so you kind of played what you had, didn't you? If you don't have a channel, let us know in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of it. You know, whether you have learned to appreciate it over time or whether you still hate it, uh, <laughs> you know. Um, or if maybe you didn't play it back then, but you've only played it recently because you're younger, you know, not as old as some of us old funny daddies. But, um, yeah, let me know. It'd be interesting to find out what other people's experiences of this game was. Um, like I say, I know I didn't like it. So, anyway, I'm going to leave that one there, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe and also hit that notification bell so that you're made aware of all our future videos and live streams. And until next time, take care, stay safe, nerdy geezer out.